Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that you'll see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also a bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press is called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell and you'll be in the know. Also in that same area, there is that thumbs up. That's important on the YouTube platform for the growth of a YouTuber. So that's where you guys come in. So if you're enjoying the content, please take a second to hit that thumbs up. It will turn blue, the number will increase, and that's you helping True Ones get noticed on the YouTube platform. So I'm thanking you in advance for that thumbs up. Okay, guys, this is what I call my MOTD, which stands for Makeup of the Day. And when I have the opportunity to try a bunch of new products that either I've purchased from websites or gotten in boxes, I sit down and I play with it and then at the end of the day if I'm really happy with the look that everything lasted on my face and happy with how everything turned out, I then the following day try to create the exact same look and then I sit down with you guys here. At the end of the day, uh, I put all my stuff in this and I sit it on the table and then if I have time, I sit down in front of the camera to share with you what my new thoughts are or my current thoughts are on some brand new products that I've had the opportunity to try or some old favorites that you'll hear me talk about in a lot of my MOTDs. If you're interested in reviews and things like that, that's what my MOTDs are all about. You could always search for them under my videos and you simply type in MOTD and all of them will come up and that's me reviewing a lot of the products that we had the opportunity to swatch and open up together here on the channel. All right. Also, I take a picture for Instagram, so if you're not following me there, you're really missing out. I really hope that you do. It's free also, but my name there is True Wants with the number two. And a lot of times I have an opportunity to share things and stories and things like that. That is just a little bit easier than sitting down in front of the camera here to do a full video. All right, so I really hope that you choose to follow me there. And again, my name on Instagram is True Wants with the number two. So what we're going to do is we're going to do my entire face is what I have on today. I'm going to do it from start right from the primer right to the setting spray. So we're gonna get everything together and share that with you, okay? The first item that I had the opportunity to try is from Laura Geller. This is a brand that I'm very familiar with, but this was a new form of spackle for me that I've never had the opportunity to try before. If you're not familiar with Laura Geller, she was one of the first ones to pioneer this name spackle, which is so fantastic because it's a primer. And if you know anything about interior design or anything, they always spackle the walls to fill in the holes and all that stuff. So what a great name for a primer. She has this available in a lot of different type of, um, this one in particular was the one that was in the boxes that she has for oily skin and things like that. This one was to hydrate, moisturize and replenish. This is something that if I was on her website, I don't think I would have chosen for myself simply because I'm a combo girl. And it would have been a mistake because this is truly nice. It truly acts like a moisturizer and it definitely replenished and hydrates my skin. So I was really, really happy with this. It also comes out like a lotion type of product. And those are the types that I love for combo girls. And it, for me, this was an absolute win. So excited to have the opportunity for that. When I say you're also going to hear some products that are my go-to's. This is one of them. This is the one from Becca. This is their under eye uh, brightener. This is the one, I think it is in um, the lightest shade. I'll have to double check that. I'll, I'll leave everything linked down below. And also some of these items I did pick up on Amazon because that was where the best price was. So I will leave my Amazon links also in the description box down below. So if you're interested in where I got my best deal, and it was from Amazon, I will make sure to share that with my links in the description box down below. So this is the under eye brightener and I share this with you guys all the time. This is something that I stock up on whenever I see it. And when I heard Becca was gonna, you know, not really be involved in uh, the beauty world anymore, I heard also that Smashbox was gonna take over one of their number one products, which is this one. This is something that I do. I do not have big dark circles under my eyes, but I find when I don't use this, there's some brightness that I feel I'm not getting that I like to have. And this is something that I start my day with. I put it right under my eyes, be it if I'm wearing makeup or not wearing makeup. It just seems to lift everything up in reference to me looking brighter. So that's something that I really enjoy. 
How this video really started was I was really interested in trying a brand that is called Haley's. And this was a brand that I've had on my list for the longest time. And then when I was looking through Amazon for a couple of things, this popped up. So I was shocked that this was available on Amazon. On top of it, it's the best price out there for this brand. So this brand is a brand that's an indie brand, but this foundation is only $10. So I was so excited to have the opportunity to share it. The only negative is the color choices that are available on Amazon is not the full range. There's still a lot to choose from, but I had to go up a little bit and I ended up choosing number five, which is a warm. And I normally do not choose warm for myself. I usually choose neutral. And so what I ended up doing was I picked up the powder from the brand that was in 4.0, which is what I would have liked this to be, but that wasn't available in uh, on Amazon at the time, but the powder was. So I figured if this was a little bit too dark, I knew I could lighten it up with concealer and things like that. And then I was gonna put it over with the powder that I thought would be a better match for me, and it worked out perfectly. So really, really happy about that. This really impressed me. This is it's called the Reset Liquid Matte Foundation. It goes on beautifully. You need very little. You definitely get medium to full coverage in this. And it lasted for me at, throughout the whole day. Even, you know, putting on a mask and taking it, I didn't have a lot of transfers. So I was really, really impressed with this product. And then I used, like I said, the 4.0, which is the Recovery Pressed Powdered Foundation. And this also really impressed me too. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I used it with a flat pavoot. This I put on with my Juno sponge. I took out a new one from my drawer. I have so many of these. This is also available on Amazon, but it's also available. I have a code for this also if you're interested in more products than just this on their website. I have a great discount with this as well. That when I first, first started my channel, this was one of the first companies that reached out to me to send me over some PR. And it was ironic because the products that they wanted me to share were products I already shared on my channel way before they reached out, which is their Moonshine Moisturizer, which I absolutely love. And this is one of the best, best sponges. It's a microfiber sponge. These run around $5. They're not expensive at all, and they last. So like I said, I'll leave the links for both the site for Juno as well as my Amazon link for that as well. So those that was how I put the foundation on, and then I used a flat kabuki brush to put uh, this on. But this also comes with one of these sponges, which I think are great, that you could touch up during the day if you wanna take this with you. So I thought that was really well done. And like I said, I paid $10 for this as well, which is an absolute steal. The next product also, I find it the cheapest on Amazon, which I think is absolutely fantastic, is the e.l.f. Concealer. This one is in the shade Light. I have it in the black cap, which is their matte, which was their original, and this white one, which is the hydrating one. I find my skin reacts the same to both, but if you're looking for something, you know, for more aging skin, the hydration one is the one that I would recommend. The next thing that I do, and I share this with you all the time, and it is the cheapest, really, by far, on Amazon and this is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is what I chose to put in under my eyes and to set wherever I use the concealer before I did the uh, foundation the, all over my face. So this one I chose in 10 Fair Light. What I share with you all the time about this Maybelline Fit Me is it comes in a lot of different shades but always choose a shade down. So if you think you're a medium, choose the light medium. If you think you're a light, choose the fair, because that's how I ended up with a lot of these, simply because for me, I couldn't believe how dark the medium was and how the light medium was better for me, and then the light was too dark for under my eyes, I ended up going fair. So I have this in a bunch of different shades, which is also great, that if your foundations are the wrong color, these type of powders will always help you out, and it's a loose setting powder, and to me, this is finely milled. This is as good as all of my high end, my Laura Mercedes, all of that. This is the one that I gravitate to all the time. And then another one that I've mentioned to you a million times on my channel, and this is also a lot now available a lot, a lot of times on the BoxyCharm uh, add-ons or mega bundles or whatever they want to call it. This is the banana powder from Ofra. It is one of the best banana powders out there. Every other banana powder does not compare to this one. So if you haven't tried this one and you see it, definitely grab it. It is definitely a win. This has been in my stash for years, way before BoxyCharm, way before all of that. This has always been in my arsenal. So when it started to show up on BoxyCharm, I stocked up like big time. Really happy about that. 
Then I had the opportunity to try something from Complex Culture. This was their contour and this is the one in overtime. This is beautiful. I enjoy so much everything from Complex Culture and this did not disappoint either. So this is what I started with my contour. So really excited. So if you see this, this is also an absolute winner. The next item was one that I could not wait to uh, try on my face. This was a choice item and I ended up choosing because I get two boxes on my channel. I chose one in light and one in medium and I shared with you both. So I started with the light one and there wasn't a lot of difference between the light and the medium, but the medium gave a little bit of warmth that I really wanted because of the foundation being warmer. So this was a little bit cooler and then this one was a little bit warmer. And so I ended up doing my whole face with this one and then I gave a little extra oomph with this one. So those were the two bronzers that I used. Then, this is something I share with you guys all the time that if you see this on Ipsy, this is what they consider always like the in the $3 section, a deluxe sample size. Trust me, this is definitely the full size. It has a full mirror on the back. This latest one that I got is in uh, Glimmer Shimmer, it's called, and Fire Lit. And so I chose this one because I, it's every time there I check to see what the shades are, I end up with another pair of these. And these are so, so beautiful. This is the blush that I used, and this is what I used for my highlighter. So absolute steal. One that not only is it a great price, it's a really great product. So wanted to share that with you. And then I had another product that I had as a choice item was from Rare Beauty. This also really impressed me. This brand here, these were the shadows that I ended up using. I did this as my transition. I deepened up my outer with this gorgeous mulberry color. And then I went even deeper with the uh, purple one here. And then I did a little over my lid with this one. And then I gave it a little pop of color in the center of my eye with this. The only thing with this palette that disappointed me a little bit was this last shade here. It seemed to crumble. As soon as I put my brush in and I didn't wet my brush or anything, it really crumbled a lot. So share with me if you have this palette, if you've had the same issues with this one shade here, that is really, really spectacular. So I got to pretty much use almost every shade in this. So to me, that's a winning palette. And on top of it is absolutely gorgeous. So this Rare Beauty is definitely one that I think is an absolute win. Then I had the opportunity to try and also, this was also in the $3 section and was also in the point section at Ipsy as well as in, uh, in the choices. And so I got an opportunity to get it in a few different colors because I was so impressed the first time that I used this. This one is in the shade Smoke, which is more of a light, a, a, a lighter black, probably more like a charcoal color. But what's great about this is it's uh, an automatic, which means you don't need to uh, sharpen it. It comes easily up, you know, like you don't need a sharpener. But what's really great about this is it stays on all day long. You do not have to worry about it transferring or bleeding or any of that. So really, really impressed with this Beauty For Real uh, gel pencil. Another one that I've been sharing with you all the time, when I'm on camera, I do my best just to tightly you know, put a little bit of color into my brows. My brows are pretty dark to begin with and they're full. So this is something that I just do a little extra something because of the camera. This is the brow gal. Uh, one side is the pencil and the other side has the spoolie to uh, brush it through. So when I got this pencil, it was like double the size. Like that's how long like this will last. The next items that I used is another one that I've shared with you a few times. I always share with you that I use mascara primers. This I also picked up in one of the BoxyCharm add-on sales. This is from Milk Makeup. It's a really beautiful, beautiful one. Uh, I enjoy eyeshadow, uh, eyelash primers simply because ever since I started using them and I've been using them for more years than I want to even mention, started with Lancome, then I went to the L'Oreal that was in the drugstore. And then when I saw some primers available on the uh, sales, I grabbed some of these. This is fantastic because ever since I started using primers on my eyelashes, I do not have eyelash uh, fallout ever. So really, really excited that this was a winner as well. This was a new one that I got in one of those free boxes. I think it was uh, the first box that I got from um, Pinch Me. And this was a product that I was gonna buy on my own. And then when I saw that this was one of the items that was gonna be in that box, I signed up for that free box and I got lucky. I was able to pick this product and it is the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. This is beautiful. Revlon is starting to come to the plate again and I'm really excited about that because Revlon had one of those first dupe 
uh, foundations, you know, with the color stay and all that. So I'm really happy now that they're coming back on board. This has that little small hourglass enough that it's not overpowering. It has those bristle brushes. This gave me volume and it gave me length. It also had the click that I love on the higher end of mascaras. This one has it too. Really impressed with this. This one also I found because I wanted to be able to know to replenish. I also found this on Amazon and I'll leave that link down below too because that was the cheapest place I found this as well. Then in one of my boxes, I got very lucky. I got the Charlotte Tilbury in medium. And I now know that uh, there's another box that's gonna be coming our way that we got to choose a Charlotte Tilbury. And on that one, I chose the lighter one just so that I can have the difference between the two. But the medium is absolutely beautiful and I'm really, really happy with this product as well. And then an old favorite of mine, I pulled out of my drawer because I wanted to make sure that everybody knew about this. And this is also something that you'll be able to pick up on Amazon and if not the drugstores. This is very inexpensive, but it is one of the best, best products. It was one of my first drugstore finds and it is one that I reach for all the time when I want a neutral lip. And it's ironic that I keep going back to this because this is maybe two or three dollars and yet it lasts for me better than anybody. The packaging is nothing great, uh, but it does come on the angle and it is in the shade, I think it's called, um, oh, where's my magnifier? Uh, let me see what this one is called. It's called uh, Bear It All. And this here, and also the magnifiers, they're back in stock. So if you're interested in these, this is from Improving Lifestyles, the business that I have with my brother. This is a magnifier that has an LED light. If you do not have a magnifier with an LED light, you do not know what you're missing out on. But we got these at fantastic wholesale prices that I share with you guys. So definitely go to our Improving Lifestyles website and check out because everything that we have is high quality, but at wholesale prices direct to you guys. So this is definitely, you can find this in the accessory section, but you should look around because like I said, we have some fantastic, fantastic products on that website. Then uh, and, uh, the link to our website is down below. Then the, what I ended up just doing a little topper of it on this, which you really don't need, but I really enjoy this product so much and I wanted to make sure to share it with you. This is from the Rina Beauty line. This is the Lisa Renna's line. I will definitely sh look what all the names are and everything I'll leave in the description box down below so you'll be able to know everything. But this also is really, really beautiful. This is not sticky at all. It has a little bit of a tilt to it. It just gives a little extra smoothness that's not really necessary because this is moisturizing, yet it is a matte. This is really, really, if you haven't tried this, this is definitely a must have from the Wet and Wild, but this was an absolute treat from Rinna. And um, the last thing I did was I had this and I haven't had the opportunity to try it yet. And I don't know why this was sitting in an area that I completely forgot about it. This is from Fenty Beauty and this is her uh, uh, What It Do. And I think I put it aside because I was afraid that it was gonna to be too dewy or moisturizing. It's not like that at all. It's really refreshing, really beautiful. And it's one that I recommend also. The mist on this is really nice and it helps set the makeup. Even if you don't wanna set your makeup and you're just you know, going around during the day, this is a really nice refresher as well. And that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys. So like I said, these are called MOTDs and I wanna make sure that you check them out. And if you're interested in any reviews or anything like that and what I recommend, check it out by going to the video section and where the search bar is, simply to type in MOTD. You could do the same thing with BoxyCharm, Ipsy, whatever it is, just type it in the search bar and all those recent videos will come up and then you'll get to choose which one you want to watch, all right? That's it for today, guys. Take care, stay well, and I'll see you all again soon in my next video. Make sure if you've had the opportunity to try any of these products, please share in the comments down below what your thoughts were as well as your skin type so that we know if some of these products only work well for combo girls, which is how I can speak of. But if you've tried them and they're good for dry skin or oily or any of that, please share that in the comments down below as well. I, once again, I will leave the links to everything that I found the best deal towards. And those links, uh, I think with Amazon, are affiliate links, it's a very small uh, commission. So I thank you very much if you choose to use those links because it keeps that link, it keeps my um, affiliate link alive if you use those links. And I only share it with products that I actually use and that I found that price to be the best price. Otherwise, I will not leave a link. All right. Take care, everybody. Stay well. And I'll see you all again soon in my next video. Bye for now.